This is uh, Scrim versus K and D, season 16, Color Rush. So. As we're rolling out to mid, just the basic thing you want to do in mid is just sort of walk up with your demo in mid and protect them from bombers, and then once their sort of initial suicide wave comes through, you want to just walk across point with your demo. And throw the sandwich just to get the extra heals. We're just walking across here. Metal Wii gets stabbed out, and so I just know that I have to push across and just hope for the best, see if I can get a kill on anything. Because it's sort of like, if you force a really aggressive fight, the like 100 heals that the med would get out wouldn't make that big of a difference, so sometimes you can just sort of aggressively force a fight and turn things in your favor. But their med lives, so we just you know they have advantage, so we need to regroup and hopefully hold up top. But we walk to choke in a few seconds here. Drop the WTF in chat. And as we're going up here, they pop through, and so I just decided to run up here and try to slow their demo and scout in the Uber. Because I know if I had tried to run across, I wouldn't really do anything. They already do like 100 damage to their med, but he gets out. And I end up going down. But our med died there, so. And then Zan dies as well, that's unfortunate. So it's just gonna be spawning and going to last, and hoping to defend. Since they have advantage, we'll be trying to make sure they use early. But oftentimes, if they have full Uber, then I'll just try to sit under point and hope for the best and just try to defend the point itself as sort of a last ditch effort. But when they're not about to pop in, I normally try to play right up on the shutter and then have my soldier or scout play on the platform and have them bait people into me and just try to kill whatever overextends. There, their spy for some reason runs across while I'm shooting and just dies. And here they pop in, so I just try to run away from the Uber and eat a sandwich. Because if I can get up to full health here, I'll Put one be able to help a lot more. Yeah, I don't remember doing that. <laughs> but here we kill a bunch of them, so we're pushing out. I go to Big Door and just try to play this little angle here to keep them locked out and let the rest of my team cap. Um, I'll just hide my hitbox there. Allow my team a safe cap as I lock them out. But we were getting enough caps on that their back cap attempt didn't matter. And here we have full ubers, so we're just going to be trying to push through. Oftentimes, I'll go drop down. That's something I started doing, because if I go drop down, I can just sort of split their attention and cut off things that are big door, but for some reason my team baits me super hard here and didn't actually push through choke even though we had a huge uber advantage, that's just my team being awful and not listening to me calling for them to push. It's because they were really far back and the only thing we didn't want to use right away because the sniper, like the sniper was the only threat. Bunny was calling to not use right away, I remember this. Did you drop or just uber no, on point used, and not actually walk forward? We used an uber on point, we walked towards the choke but we didn't get any kills because they were, as I said they were really far back. Then sit and flank so below. you could have gone drop down like I did, and then walked up towards them. But yes. we just are bad, and so we all die. And our ended up with an uber disadvantage, and people keep bleeding on second for some reason. And so we're just holding last. Um, here they have a side advantage. I think Banny calls that there's nothing in lobby, and so we decided just sort of poke our heads out and see what's going on. Just sort of get information of where they're pushing. Zan gets hurt and so I preemptively throw the sandwich down there. So Medowi and Zan are able to live as they're backing out. And here, I don't know why we're pushing. That's kind of confusing to me. And Medowi dies. There, I probably should have shot Satan first. Instead of doing damage to Satan and then switching to Ender, but I don't know. I just started aiming at Ender. Their medic. I think like Benny or someone thought they were behind it. Like we had yeah. Room, so we walked but forward. we somehow hold this. Even though they have their, numbers. Killed their medic, even though I died as well. Yeah, and then you instantly die again to the sniper. 
the spy. This is extremely dumb game mechanic that needs to be changed. How you can decloak and still be invisible but already be capping the point. That's just completely bad. That makes payload maps like Swiftwater unplayable, in my opinion, because you can cap the cart while you're invisible. But anyways, we have disadvantage and they have a huge amount of cap times. So Spyro and I are just sitting on the point making sure they can't just send another spot to decloak there. And then since they have such a big advantage, I'll just stick lower. Because sitting by shutter in this situation, I wouldn't really be helping at all. So I just make sure I'm down here as sort of like an anchor. And they end up critzing. Kill the spider. And so I try to peek up and support damage if they actually committed there, but they don't. And so I just resume to sitting down lower. And then when you're down here, you just gotta be careful about not peeking up too much. Because you can get sniped from the top platform if their sniper goes there. Or you can get sniped from main. And then their heavy is down here. So you just shoot him and he walks away. Then he ends up dying. And then here, we weren't really able to kill enough of them in that last push because they just crits and didn't really get anything done, but just weren't able to push forward at all. And here, their scout seems like he's rushing last. So we just kill him. See, they just two shots me there with 95%. Yep. But I think since they're not here, I might decide to just run out there and push them. Yeah, that's what I'm doing because they're all the way back in choke. And so I get out there. Demo's caught out here. So, um, Randy and I are killing him, but he's getting arrowed, so I just keep them locked out of choke at least. Then we finally get the demo down, but here we're just sort of isolated because that push failed, and so I'm just trying to do as much damage as I can before I die. I end up killing their engineer. Near the crits core sign main. That's extremely questionable because we have a sentry gun. Yeah, but it, it, it only killed Vanny. He was already shooting them. Well, Benny is a god, so I guess popping crits to kill him is reasonable. <laughs> and here it's just sort of super advantage since we killed their med, and so I'm just trying to work my way out through shutter into lobby. I'm um, just sort of waiting for demo and scout to be ready to push as well before I committed to that. And I think I'm gonna go big door and try to open that up. There I'm just checking above me for traps or people hiding. Uh, I just want big door there, so in case they had their sniper or whatever, just sort of peeking onto us, be able to split up their team, and hopefully let our combo walk out of shutter noisily, but it doesn't end up happening when we back up to last, because forward holding and gully wash, especially in Highlander, doesn't really work. It's usually best to fall back to last. I guess we didn't know we had advantage here. We did, but we didn't really... Did we? I don't know. I don't remember. And so we're just chilling, and they don't walk in and take ground. So we're just sort of bobbing around. I hit the sandwich air shot. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I'm just sort of sitting by shutter aggressively positioned there so they can't get the spy in for free and they can't peek balcony and snipe us. I think something funny happens in a few seconds that might be against a different team. Here I'm just spy checking. We get a pick on their demo. Sniper is peeking. Get the sandwich out to Zand. Here we're just pinching them as I think Banny was running in through lower lobby. We just push them out. Never seen some drop in there. To San, I think. That's funny. And here, I'm just trying to run forward and lock them out of choke, so that the rest of our team can walk in without having to worry about being sniped. Um, and since it's like only the sniper there, I was just running in aggressively because he wouldn't really be able to frag me when I was running with the GRU. I'm one of the few heavies that run GRU. I just value the speed and mobility over being able to make up for my mistakes of being a retard <laughs> by pulling out fists of steel that give me damage immunity because like it's just not something that comes up with my gameplay I'm either committing or staying alive 
not fist of stealing. I get fist of steel just sort of promotes bad gameplay. Here, if they have advantage, we're just sort of holding defensively on middle. Just sort of standard play, just sort of basing your positioning off of uh, their uber advantage, making sure we don't get caught out. And then as we're getting closer to uber, we, in this situation, are just going to back up a little bit and then re-push into them, since we have uber now. And they're four down, so we should not have popped there. We're pushing I forward. Sand wasn't being Ubered there either, I don't know why. Or at least part of it. Here, Pop I was just close right to the big away. door, so I figured I'd run th through and support Banny. And we... They're only like three up at a point there, so most of these people are spawners. And so we're just trying to take lobby while we can. Because they had nobody there. Here, I'm just watching main, sort of sitting on the side of Meadowy, make sure he doesn't get flanked. And then we sort of walk up to the stairs area. This is generally the safest spot for combo to hold. Sometimes that's a questionable play by him. Feeding. Maybe he thought his team would puke shutter at the same time, I have no idea. But here I'm just sort of playing up and following Xan as he walks forward. And then we just back cap them and they're falling asleep. But yeah, for the most part I was just trying to follow Xan there and be close to him so if they rushed him I'd be able to protect him. And I think we're sort of peeking aggressively there to distract them and allow Banny to back cap. Here again we're just running up elbow. Sound those are the early. Yeah. And so we're already losing players so we're just gonna back out. But I think Banny is still committed in killing stuff. So it's like should I stay or should I go now? Quality some. And here I'm just staying by choke. Or at least initially. To sort of slow them down. Because I expected them to instantly swarm through. So I wanted to stay next to choke and slow them down. So Medway would be able to escape. Because if I had just sort of ran back there. If they had decided to actually flood through. And push off their advantage more quickly then the meta would have been guaranteed to die and I also would have died because I wouldn't be revved up or in position to slow them down. So just making sure I was in position to stop them. But we both live, get out, have uber, holding last. Back to my normal position by shutter. And then Aegis is top right, sort of baiting and spamming there. And since Aegis is spamming aggressively, I start peeking as well. I'm just sort of juking back and forth behind this wall, trying to do damage, if stuff's peeking. I'm just trying to be calming with my soldier, top right, sort of sync up our peaks to get the most out of it. There. Yeah. We just start getting some random kills, and then Banny is behind him and starts a back cap. And they're just oh, they're sort of bleeding down. players, and so we're taking over lobby, and we got a ton of cap time here, so we're just going to be pushing aggressively. They pop pretty early, and then we're able to uber in. And here I'm coming in this uber, just to make sure that we actually have firepower forward, because I don't think San was there. I just wanted to make sure we had somebody push them out. I remember and, Edney and Kresnik were both behind on bats. Yeah. I don't know why they were there exactly. And then here, like, kill him through that crack, I think. Or at least do damage to him. Didn't really know before I had just used that spot just then that you could actually shoot through that crack in the wood. And here, we're down a ton and they have advantage, so we're just trying to run out a second and survive. And I think we're gonna be holding upper. I'm just throwing a sandwich to sand because he's low. Um, I guess we're silly and don't realize they have advantage. Well, maybe we do because we're backing out. Oh yeah, and here they're pressuring big door and so... 
I think we might push through Cho. No, I remember you called to like just kite through Cho. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Because if they're pushing Big Door, we can just back off towards Choke and kite their Uber completely, and then just still be fighting them. But this th stuff just gets pretty chaotic. And I just kill two and a half of them, and then we get sniped. But here, it's sort of even numbers. Josh kills people. Their demo's pretty low, so they likely won't be pushing. And he's back by spawn because they're mid spawn, and so he started healing him, I guess. They won't be pushing in. That was a pretty chaotic fight, and now Ubers are fairly even. I guess it was just like a reset, but we managed to be picking up some kills in the interim here. And so I'm just running towards the big door to help support my combo. And then Zan died. The sandwich was not fast enough. And with the demo down, and even Ubers, heavy. If you play it right, you can still sort of lock them out of choke. I know that I can just beast on them and sh just sort of crush them back, but I think I got juggled slightly to the side there. I don't know exactly. But ideally, I would have been tighter to the wall so they wouldn't be able to have two people shooting me at one. Let me just. Too. Yeah. Is that mid Uber or like when he was leaving spawn? Right after the Uber. That's depressing. Somehow we are picking up frags. They're all hurt, so we're likely gonna be moving into mid here, and we're already getting caps on. That spy's a bit confused, and we wipe them. That's something you don't see every day. Wiping a, a team in Highlander. But here I'm just rushing forward with the GRU, trying to get to Big Door and cut off the respawners if they're committed on second. And what do you know, their team is asleep, and I kill them. <laughs> Just... being aggressive with the GRU, and cutting off... people. Something that I like about the GRU, you can actually move around the map, and go where you're needed. I think that's... pretty helpful on 5CP especially. Because if you die, and you're respawning, and you have to... just... walk slowly with... No run speed bonus, it's pretty annoying to me. And here we have Uber advantage, we're just going to be having Banny and Zan. We're in through river and then I'll try to go lower. He, that's what happened. But Zan got... gets bounced behind, this push is going to fail. Here their heavy is overextending, instead of just sitting by the pillar. He just walks forward and then he dies. But they managed to clean us up lower. And... Hold on black. Because ideally it's heavy when you're holding last, you want to just sort of be juking around that pillar. He just gets a good force on their med here, and so we're just going to be holding choke with the even ubers. So, a lot of lower level heavies I see usually try to peek instead of the demo like in chokes like this. You don't... I guess you only do that on like that other set sometimes, right? Like, I do it... Ban on the ...times. Here I get chuckled forward and Zan gets picked, then... I get you stabbed. get stabbed. How is depressing. <laughs> then I actually was headshotting stuff like crazy, and then our flanks spamming their... ...choke. So they are stalled out, and then we're just wrecking them, even though... ...they have heals. So yeah, like, like hey, what do you usually do when we'll you're playing around the choke like that and still me? I usually just play a little bit back of choke and just sort of watch for stuff trying to rush through and I'm close enough that if something rushes through I can just mow them down instantly. And then I'm also decently close so I can peak choke if we need to be pushing it. And then I'm just sort of being aware of what's pushing through choke and if there's spies coming. And here, I... Is this when they all went drop down with their uber for some I reason? Think so, yeah. Oh yeah, they went drop down with their uber for some reason. Straight out of an iron textbook play. And so we just run past yeah, in a second and cap it. You literally told me to do that. Okay. Yeah, that's because it was already super far back. 
but we were holding close to Cho. And so we just run past him and cap second and then start muscling our way into last, but sort of stall out. The control point is being contested. I believe they get back last. Then here, let's go big door. Peeking into lobby. Using my fatty body to just clear in before the demo through a shutter like that. And then we're just going to be holding back in reverse since we have disadvantage. Um, and I'm just trying to be defensive and stay alive. And they end up forcing getting into lobby. And so we just sort of chill back here. Because it's very hard for them to push us out of this position. Because especially as heavy, holding back here sort of defensively is very strong because you can contest shutter. And I think I do a ton of damage here. But we still die, and Metawi doesn't pop. I don't think I had it when I didn't have it when you dripped down. And then our combo just sort of isolated. Here they're like, we Uber in and we're fighting them for some reason, but I'm just yelling at you guys to so run away. But we live, so it's not a total loss, but they do have an advantage. And then we magically kill their combo. <laughs> our flank and. Zayn just plow them. And then their three ups were just getting the cap and then rushing into the lobby as fast as possible. And here, since there's so many down, we're just gonna try to shove our way in through last and go through shutter so we're on high ground. But because of the sniper, I drop down to avoid him. Here, I'm just trying to get any kills I can, any damage that I can before I die. I'm just trying to run forward, push him back. Because. I drop down just to avoid the sniper and then just sort of play on that stair angle to lock out their spawns, but they spawn before we get to point and we do not push successfully. In Highlander especially, but in all game modes it's usually can be better to just wait if you're uber in that situation instead of just sort of rushing it and failing. Because especially on Gullywash, the spawns are pretty quick on last defense. Here I'm just wandering around, getting back to choke. And we're holding back since they have advantage. They're just running through big door here. And we just start backing. Here, Corsa focuses me for some reason. And then runs away instead of killing Meta Me. I didn't understand that play. Metawi lives, and we're able to probably push pretty soon here once our spawns get there. And they're demo dead, so especially we should be trying to get in. We're only pretty far back, I'm not totally sure why. They're pushing through we choke for some numbers. odd reason. And then we're here we're just going to be pushing through. This is a good flash play. I delay, I don't go in with this uber, since I'm not going to be able to help and chase. Instead I go drop down to sort of cut off whatever is going to be dropping off to try to kite away. And then I'm also able to sort of sit by big door and sort of lock him out. And then here, win. there was no way for me to escape, so I just tried to go into their elbow and sort of shoot him in the side. Here, sad. Almost killed their mid. But... I was at least able to trade and distract, and then Banny just kills everything here. Five minutes left. And it's still a 1-0. I just tend to turn around like that whenever I hear a decloak noise. Even though it's my teammate right in front of me. And here, Benny, I think, ran through Cho. And so we're trying to get in as well to follow it up. Um, so I'm just sort of blobbing my way in. Usually, hugging that left wall is the best thing to do as heavy because you can sort of edge up against the 
Plus a few spots that he can sort of edge up against to, to cover your hitbox. This little sand dune type thing there. So and I here we have numbers, so I'm just trying to rush into the lobby. I ended up dying position. to Edney, but we still managed to kill more, more of them. Yeah, and here I'm just peeking because they're not contesting me, getting damage on their med, and they think they forced to a heavy when their med was 100 health. No, I think Edge is bombed as well. He got reflected like, his rocket, yeah. but this forced. There, I just get caught off guard, unfortunately, and then die. And we are down a lot. Somehow they're not pushing out a lot. That's kind of confusing. Now they're finally getting cap time. They have a side advantage. So we're just going to go hold choke. Usually you want to hold choke if you lose second, but aren't able to contest. See, so you're just sort of standing in this sort of distance. You can just sort of... I guess they were called... They were yeah, they were called Big Door, and so we rotated to sort of meet them. I don't know why you I should not have gone there. on the ground. Yeah, I don't know why. That's really questionable. <laughs> um. And here I'm just spy checking, sitting by choke, making sure they can't float through it. Oh, this play, dude. This was sick. <laughs> sick play. I saw the ammo pack gone out of the corner of my eye when I was sitting choke, and then I. Started spamming and just saw the spy flicker for a split second. That's probably the best spy kill that I've gotten in my whole TF2 <laughs> playing. <laughs> just seeing the spy out of the corner of my eye, that was pretty fun. And so here, the Reaper is better. Yeah. And so I just back up and sort of sit behind this wall. So if they try to use their better Uber to get through, I'll just be able to kill them. Um, I spit on my sandwich so we're healthy. But then somehow, we just overpower them and start walking in. They're heavy in meta, just like over committed. Here, oh, I should have realized I was a spy. There, I just sort of run into health pack to deny him from getting it. And actually, have headshots. They're heavy like five times, and their meds still out here for some reason. But he dies. Then I'm just hugging this left wall again, trying to protect myself as much as possible as I move forward. And just getting cap time. And since they're down so much, we'll try to move into lobby here. We have a, a big of advantage, so I'm just playing really defensive right now, making sure everyone is alive for the push. Um, right here, you just want to make sure you're buffed and ready to go in. I think we win this round. This push. And here, I'm going lower before the uber, so I have time to actually get up there. I guess that drops to a spy, that's unfortunate. I think we might actually win it, so they're heavy again, is overextending there. Going past the pillar, not really ideal because then you're more exposed to being killed. Here's Sparrow and I are coming up from behind and they have a lot of people focused on us but we end up dying. We somehow managed to kill their meds so that's really huge. We'll have a small advantage going forward. We might actually go crits, I don't remember. No, you're building too slowly, it's definitely over. What the heck? But I'm not healing. Yeah. Here, going big door is fun sometimes. If you're trying to contest, I don't know how he's shooting around the corner. But they're not actually finishing the cap, so we're kind of pressuring them aggressively through choke. Mercy's out building Medaway with Uber <laughs> versus crits. They might be on different. But it's true. They're on crits, you say? There's, he's building too fast. Yeah, and here I just called, just try to shove our way through uh, Big Door and go for some picks, and we get the kill. Sand drops Nursey with the crits, and then we just sort of flood in together. And since we're critsing, I try to be super close to the demo and met there, because that's the only way they'll be able to survive it if I'm there to sort of defend and tank damage. And here, there's snipers there, I just ignore him, because he's not doing anything to help the round. And then we just rush our way in. I'm just going secret, avoiding damage and getting closer to point, and I just shoot him this side here. And we win another round. Medway not even in the top three.
must have been typing something, yeah. Good half, we won that round with just a few seconds left, but... All in all, it didn't feel like I was doing a whole lot from watching that demo, but I went 33 and 16. Almost top fried. But Do you have any... Just... Yeah, any other things you want to say about like playing having Color Rush? From 5CP, in general? In general, you just want to be with your combo ready to support your demo. I think this map in particular just opens you up to being more mobile, and that's why I like cheer you a lot. You can be more mobile, go where you need, go where you're needed, and you can actually take advantage of positioning and sort of the post super fights more effectively since it's sort of more dynamic play on the 5 CP versus just sort of like a static hold on payload. And so it, I think it rewards smart play more than other maps. And so if you play well, you can really succeed on a map like 5 CP. And Gully, a lot of the distances are pretty close, so it can be a decent heavy map. As long as you're playing smart, supporting your combo, you can frag well and allow your combo to do well.